Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are making mini pecan pies because who doesn't need mini pecan pies at this time? What I'm going to do with these pies is after I make them, I am going to freeze them. Then I can just take out enough that I need. Now the recipe is listed down below. This should be a lot of fun. I've never made this recipe before, so this will be interesting. All right, so we are going to start off with our flour, our salt, and I am using butter. You can use shortening, feel free, but I am using softened butter. Taking a fork, I'm just going to mash my um, butter until we have something which is crumbly. You could very easily do this in a mixer. Probably would go a lot faster. And yes, I do have a spoon to help me make sure that it becomes crumbly, not like a butter flour in, or butter in flour kind of thing. This needs to be crumbly. And what you're actually doing is you're actually sort of coating the flour with butter rather than butter with flour. You could also use two knives or a pastry cutter, work just as well, probably even better. Then once you have something which reminds you of like breadcrumbs, we're going to add, by the tablespoon, cold water. You could also use cold tea, that would give it a different flavor. Switching mixing implements now. I don't need to cut it in as much. And you'll notice I'm not using my hands because I don't want to melt the butter. All right, once this starts forming a nice ball, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna form it into a nice ball. Now I'll get my hands in there to just form this into a ball. Excellent. There we go. Now, I'm just going to take some plastic wrap or whatever you have, place that over the top of this, and put it into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. All right, it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to take our dough, uncover it, divide it in half, approximately, there. All right, now my goal is I'm going to take it and try to get it out into about a six inch disc. And the cool part about this is I'm going to put it in a pre-greased uh, Pyrex dish or dish. And then I'm just going to use a glass to help Get it in place. Now this will come together really, really fast because basically all the work is done for us. I'm going to take my uh, pecans and sprinkle about half of them on each pie. Spread that out sort of evenly. There we go. All right, let's mix up our filling. Super simple. I'm going to take my egg, sugar, maple syrup. If you do not have maple syrup, feel free to use something like corn syrup, that sort of thing. You want to whisk this together well, and I mean really well. If not, you're going to have scrambled eggs on top of bread. 
Once that's mixed together well, I'm going to put in my vanilla. My oven is preheated to 375 degrees. <laughs> and I'm taking no chances. I am whisking this really well. Then I'm just going to pour... Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take these over to the oven and bake them for about 35 to 40 minutes or until a cake tester poked into the center comes out clean. Our mini pies are out of the oven. I'm going to slice one, give it a taste. It is very, very custardy. Oh my. I have to stop eating this. Putting that down. That's really good. Oh my. <laughs> All right. So, the things I can tell you is, the one thing you do want to make sure, make sure that you mix up that egg and everything. Cook it until it is firm. It will firm up slightly afterwards, but mine took about 45 minutes to cook. It is good. It is really good. I think this on top of it with some ice cream or some whipped cream. It is sweet, super sweet, so I will warn you about that. Well, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. This one is really good. It'll make a nice little Thanksgiving treat for us, and I hope I get to see you again the next time you stop by.